What's going on guys, my name is Renegade, it's Dewey here to ask and answer the question, how good is Evolved Pumpkin Lord? If you haven't seen a how good is video before, what I do is I choose a class and explain how to obtain the class, what enhancements to use, what weapon range to use, what the abilities and passives do, what combo to use or how to use the class, how well it serves its designated purpose, and finally I wrap things up with my own opinions on said class. If you'd like any other classes to receive this treatment, then let me know in the comment section down below, on Twitter, or in my Discord server. Links for all that are in the description. Either way though, let's start things off by going over how to obtain Evolved Pumpkin Lord. There are three ways you can obtain Evolved Pumpkin Lord. If you're a non-member, then you must wait until the annual Mogloween event returns, then open your Mogloween seasonal shop in your game menu, and then you'll see the class available for 2000 ACs. If you're a member, you have two options. One, you can wait until Mogloween returns, go to slash join Mogloween, move one room over to the left, and then kill the Great Pumpkin King until the class drops. It's not too rare, so this method's quite easy. Or you can obtain the class at any point throughout the year by completing quests from slash join Crux Ship and getting 500 glowing pumpkin seeds and then merging them for the class. I'll leave a link in the description if you want more detail about this method. I'd personally recommend just waiting for the seasonal method. The Crux Ship method takes a while and the class isn't really good enough to justify all the effort it takes. Now let's talk about enhancements. There's really only one way to go about the enhancements for this class, and that is for luck. The class description recommends fighter, but as you can see in the graph here, fighter enhancements lower your damage output significantly. Usually fighter enhancements would give your survivability a bolster, but I personally found that both fighter and luck enhancements were about the same in terms of simply just staying alive during a fight. As a result, luck is the best enhancement for this class as it has more damage and doesn't really affect your survivability. Now onto weapon range. For the weapon range, it's very simple. Whichever weapon offers the most damage is best. So what I did was I measured DPS output using three different weapon ranges. I used an unstable weapon, the ungodly Reavers of Nogath. I used a mid-stable weapon, the LED Dragon Blade. And I used a, a stable weapon, unarmed. I found that the stable weapon range has slightly higher damage output when compared to mid-stable, and mid-stable was much higher than unstable. This leads me to believe that the more stable your weapon range, the more damage you will deal. My recommendation then is of course to use a stable weapon. Evolved Pumpkin Lord has two rank 4 passives and one rank 10 passive. Your two rank 4 passives are an increase to your damage by 10% and an increase to your haste by 10%. And then your rank 10 passive is an increase to your crit chance and crit damage by 7%. Ability 1 for Evolved Pumpkin Lord is of course your auto attack, and it is in this case just a standard auto attack. Now, your second ability is called Vine Whip. It consumes 15 mana and has a 4 second cooldown. You use a Pumpkin Vine as a whip, which deals high damage. Cannot miss, but cannot crit. This is just a small amount of damage. You just continuously use it as the fight goes on. Pretty much just use it as much as you can. Your next ability is called Siphon. It consumes 25 mana, has a 12 second cooldown. You grab your opponent with Vines and Siphon life and energy from them. You gain a 20% haste boost and a reasonable HOT for 8 seconds. If Ready to Sprout is applied, you take 20% less damage, Ready to Sprout is absorbed. So this ability is actually loopable because of the haste boost, boost that it provides and also because of your haste boost from your passives. So this ability here can actually just be looped as the fight goes on and I'll explain how to do that later on. Your next ability is called Seed of Despair. This ability consumes 20 mana, has a 15 second cooldown. You sow seeds of despair and plant them in your foes. Applies Drained of Strength, which makes your opponent take 15% more damage and deal 15% less for 10 seconds. Also applies Ready to Sprout, which has extra effects on other moves. Um, and if you remember from the previous ability, Ready to Sprout, in that case, would apply a 20% damage resistance buff. Now, your last ability is called Explosive Pumpkins, and it consumes 4 seconds but does not consume mana. However, it does consume 10% of your maximum HP. It says in the, the tooltip that it consumes 10% of your own HP, but it's actually 10% of your max HP. You grow a specialized Explosive Pumpkin that, de that detonates in a ball of glorious flames, dealing massive damage to your target at the cost of 10% of your own HP. If Ready to Sprout is applied, which is the effect from the previous ability that I mentioned, a dot is also applied, Ready to Sprout is absorbed. Now for actually how to use this class, there are two main combos that I recommend you choose between. One of which is for survivability, and one of which is for damage. Now, your survivability combo, which I don't recommend you use unless you're in a tough fight, is 4-3-5-2-2-2, 4-3-5-2-2-2. Now your uh, damage combo is 4-5-3-2-2-2, 4-5-3-2-2-2. 
Now, the reason why there's a distinction between the two of them is because Ability 4 is sort of the central mechanic of this class. It applies an effect called Ready to Sprout, which then influences both Abilities 3 and 5. Now, keep in mind, both Abilities 3 and 5, they consume Ready to Sprout, which means that you can't apply 4, 5, and 3 and have both the effects from 3 and 5 in play. You have to either have one or the other. So, the effect from 3 is a 20% uh, damage reduction, so you take 20% less damage. The effect from 5 is you get a dot on your enemy. So, yeah, going 4, 5, 3, 2, 2, 2 is the dot and you get extra damage. Um, or 4, 3, 5, 2, 2, 2 is damage resistance and you resist more damage. It depends on the situation. Honestly, if you think you're getting into a fight that is uh, more difficult and you think you're going to maybe, you know, take a bit more damage than you'd like to, then use 4, 3, 5, 2, 2, 2. And if you think your your fight's easy, you know, it's relatively short, um, you, you're confident in the fight, then go 4, 5, 3, 2, 2, 2. Keep in mind that as a level 85, with the correct enhancements and weapon range, I myself found myself using 4, 5, 3, 2, 2, 2 most of the time. Almost 100% of the time I was using 4, 5, 3, 2, 2, 2. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, it's, it's honestly up, it's up to you guys. I don't really like saying just a specific combo is what you must use. It's really up to you. If you want to chuck in a couple more usages of five in there and mix them in with all the, the spamming of two, then by all means, you know, you can go four, five, three, two, five, two, two sort of thing. Just whatever you want. Mix things up a bit if you want. Um, it's not really set in stone, but just keep in mind you have to apply four, then five, or four, then three. You can't have, you can't have the best of both worlds. Finally, let's wrap things up by concluding whether this class does what it's supposed to do, which is soloing, uh, very well or not. So, like I said, this class is a soloing class, so yeah, I mean, it solos okay. It's not the best soloing class in the game, and it's not necessarily the worst either, it's just kind of average. Now, for lower health monsters, your ability 5 actually never misses and it always crits. I forgot to mention that before, but yeah, it never misses and it always crits, and so what that means is you can spam it and probably live to tell the tale for a lower health boss. So an example of that would be actually be the Great Pumpkin King. You can probably just walk up to him and start spamming five and be done. And that's quite a bit of damage. However, longer bosses, longer, um, sorry, larger health bosses, which is a ever increasing amount of bosses in the game. Most bosses these days are quite, have quite high health pools. Um, those sorts of bosses you need to be able to sustain. And spamming ability five is not a sustainable way to play this class. A sustainable way to play the class is using one of the combos I recommended before. And when it when you use one of those combos, it's a pretty mediocre soloing class. It's not necessarily bad, but it's not necessarily good either. Its damage output is it's better than a lot of classes, but it's also worse than a lot of classes. You need to sort of, I guess, assess it compared, it, like, relative to its cost. So if you're a non-member, it is... Not really worth the 2000 ACs, in my opinion. It's it's just kind of average, and there are better options out there if you are looking for a soloing class. There's Stone Crusher, there's Legion Doom Knight. Lightcaster is cheaper than this class, and it's much better, in my opinion. Um, you know, there are probably other options out there as well that are just better. If you're a non-member, I mean, if you are a member, rather, then all you need to do, especially this time of the year, slash join Mogloween, move one room over to the left, and you can just get the, the class as a boss drop, and it does, it's not that difficult to get. So, yeah, I mean, if you're a member, then, I mean, it's not that much effort. However, if you're thinking about getting this class, and it's not Mogloween, and you want to farm for the class, it's a pretty annoying item to farm. It's kind of time-consuming, and so I really wouldn't recommend putting in the time and effort to get it. I'd honestly just recommend, you know, trying to farm something a little bit better, perhaps. But yeah, that's going to be it, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.